Welcome to another YouTube video on this channel. In this video, you will learn about 20 unorthodox but effective and easy things you can do to grow taller, even after puberty. You can find more on how this works in other videos on this channel. Before we dive in, make sure you have downloaded the free page ebook linked in the description, which will provide you with enough information on how to grow taller. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you'll never miss a video. Enough said, let's begin. You have probably heard about how height is influenced by genetics and perhaps by how much milk you drink, but height is actually influenced by a million different factors, and you are able to influence about 80% of them by applying the correct knowledge. The following 20 tips you are going to get in this video are some of the lifestyle changes you can apply without wasting too much time and energy, while at the same time making a huge difference in your height growth journey. Sit back and enjoy. Supplementing boron or increasing your intake of the mineral boron, is the first tip of the 20. Boron is a forgotten mineral that is crucial for bones and is naturally found in dried fruit such as raisins, apricots and prunes, but is found in even higher amounts in bee pollen. You can get yourself some high-quality bee pollen through the link in the description. Studies have shown that supplementing boron adds up to around 4% of extra height on ostriches, which translates to around 4 inches in humans. Of course, ostriches are different, but boron has been shown to have the same bone-increasing effects on humans as well. Boron mainly does this by enhancing the function of magnesium and vitamin D, while also increasing the amount of osteoblast activity in the body. Number 19. Get sunlight on your gonads. The infrared light spectrum of sunlight along with near-infrared light have been shown to supercharge energy production in the cells, originating from the mitochondria. This increase in energy production is dependent on the place where the light hits the skin. Wherever you get more sun is also the place where the nearby mitochondria will get a boost. We always tend to wear pants or at least some covers for our genitals when we go outside to tan, but tanning your genitals will have an energy-boosting effect on the Leydig cells. These are cells that produce testosterone and are present in your gonads. Testosterone is very anabolic to bone and will lead to an increase in bone growth. The only thing you have to do is make sure nobody sees you doing it, but the results are amazing. Number 18 is eating bone broth. Collagen is the second most abundant component of your bones after hydroxyapatite, which is a combination of calcium and phosphate. But collagen is also what the epiphyseal plates, also known as growth plates, are mostly composed of. An abundance of collagen in the diet will lead to bigger growth plates, which will eventually lead to a bigger growth spurt that will go on until your early 20s. Bone broth is one of the best sources of collagen you can get in your diet, so you better consume it every day. Alternatives to bone broth would be chicken feet stock, shark fin soup, or perhaps an easier alternative, like supplementing gelatin powder which you can buy from a link in the description. Number 17. Drink raw cow's milk. Of course milk is exceptionally rich in building blocks for your bones, such as protein and calcium, but one of the most unknown components of milk, but perhaps one of the most important, is a special protein called lactoferrin. Lactoferrin has a direct effect on the cells that create bone, increasing their activity and keeping them longer alive, while also inhibiting cells in the body that are meant to break down bone. Around 66% of lactoferrin gets destroyed during pasteurization, which is why raw milk will be a better option for you. Or if you can get your hands on it, colostrum is an even better alternative. Number 16 may seem very ineffective, but it is one of the most studied topics over the last few years. Walking barefoot, or grounding like most like to call it, is the practice of being in contact with the earth with your bare skin. Walking barefoot or swimming in natural waters are great examples. The practice of doing this will reduce the amount of reactive oxygen species, ROS, in your body, which lowers inflammation and declots your red blood cells. This way it's easier for your body to deliver nutrients to the right places, including your bones. Number 15 is increasing the amount of GABA in your brain. GABA is an inhibitory neurotransmitter that not only increases certain growth factors such as IGF-1, which stimulates your body to create more bone, but also encourages reaching a state of deep sleep while you are sleeping. In this stage your body will heal and grow more as opposed to REM sleep. GABA will make sure that every hour of sleep will be used better, especially if your goal is to grow taller. Using some topical magnesium chloride spray on your skin, or even supplementing gelatin powder like mentioned earlier in this video, will have a very positive effect on your GABA levels. Practicing a technique called buteco breathing is number 14 in this list. 
For the cells in your body to utilize oxygen for energy purposes, the oxygen needs to be uncoupled from the hemoglobin. This is CO2's job. It increases the amount of oxygen that can get into the cell. Reducing the amount of inhalations and exhalations you take per day increases the amount of CO2 you have in your body. Taking lots of breaths will deplete your body of CO2 and reduce the amount of oxygen that's in your cells. If you want to learn how you can start to practice this breathing technique, check out the post on the Buteco method on the Instagram page. Thirteenth tip you can do is start to play basketball. When you play basketball, the constant jumping and exercising will force your shin bones to grow. This is due to Wolf's Law. Every time you jump and land, new microfractures will be created in your shin bones and femurs. These will be filled up again, thicker and denser than they have been before, with even a little bit of extra height coming along. Also, every time you aim to touch the rim or dunk a basketball but fail to do so, your body will subconsciously force itself to grow taller to be successful the next time you try, either through growing more explosive muscles or increasing bone length. Number 12 is that you have to start mewing. Mewing, which is essentially proper tongue posture, calms the nervous system. This is because there are some nerve endings of the vagus nerve in the mouth, which is stimulated when something like a tongue applies pressure on it. Stimulation of the vagus nerve leads to an activation of the parasympathetic nervous system, and this eventually leads to an increase in activity of osteoblasts, which are the cells that create new bone. Number 11 doesn't need elaboration. You need to believe in it at all times. Without belief, you will never be able to keep consistency, and you will never succeed. Number 10 is to start breathing into your balls. Breathing into your balls is just a fancy sentence for directing the air you breathe into your pelvis, which ensures proper activation of the diaphragm. Proper activation of the diaphragm during breathing actually decompresses the spine, which can help the intervertebral discs of the spine to get bigger, which has a lengthened spine as effect. To add on top of that, the diaphragm also aids in postural stability. Number 9 speaks for itself, you have to lose excess fat tissue. If you are chunky, you need to lose that weight. Not only is it a sign that your metabolism is slow, but you are also messing with your endocrine system, because your body is full of aromatase that converts your testosterone into estrogen. This is terrible because testosterone is very good for bone growth and height growth, while estrogen actually has a very negative effect for your growth. Fat tissue is where testosterone gets converted into estrogen, so reducing the amount of fat in your body will directly have a positive effect on your growing taller journey. Tip 8. Eat at least 100 grams of protein a day. Are there still people eating less than 100 grams of protein a day? Don't ever count your protein intake but just naturally eat a lot of protein. It doesn't matter if you get under a few times, but protein, especially animal protein is so incredibly important, since they are not only building blocks of your bones, but also of your growth plates and cartilage. Just have a look at the chart of average animal protein consumption and height per country. Tip 7 is drinking raw goat's milk. Raw goat milk is an even better alternative than cow's milk. It contains more lactoferrin, less phosphate, more calcium, has a better balance between amino acids, and contains a special compound called phosphor inositol. In general, it's also more similar to human milk, which makes it a much better alternative. Number six is good posture. Good, proper posture is hard to master, but will make sure that gravity won't shorten your spine too much. You probably know that you are two inches taller in the morning. This is because when you lie down, there is no gravity squeezing down your intervertebral discs. Mastering an upright posture is very simple to do and will take so much gravity away from your intervertebral discs, allowing them to enlarge and your spine to lengthen. For number five, you need to start eating raw carrots or a raw carrot salad. Your gut is likely full of gram-negative bacteria, which are harmful bacteria that create toxic byproducts like endotoxins. These toxins indirectly increase the amount of estrogen in your body, which is why you have to get them out. Raw carrots specifically contain a form of insoluble fiber which binds to these gram-negative bacteria and allows you to poop them out, decreasing endotoxin levels and finally reducing estrogen in your body. Number four is looking at the sunrise and sunset. A study has shown that when you look at an orange or red sun, like during sunrise or sunset, it lets your body know that the day is either starting or ending, calibrating your circadian rhythm. When your circadian rhythm is properly calibrated, you will be able to feel more in sync with the day and therefore sleep deeper and gain more height during your sleep. Number three, don't forget to eat oysters weekly. Oysters are one of the most nutrient-dense foods on the planet, and especially in nutrients that stimulate bone growth such as D-aspartic acid, various peptides, zinc, manganese, 
and pretty much every other fatty acid, water-soluble vitamin, and mineral known to man. Simply a superior food. Consuming your oysters along with some Tabasco, shallots, and red wine vinegar will increase absorption from the nourishing nutrients by providing you with quercetin, which increases nutrient absorption. Number 2. Practice sprinting. Sprinting is the most stimulating exercise you can expose your body to. It leaves stress on almost every bone and muscle while you are doing it. But when you are done with it, also triggers an hormetic reaction in every single one of those places. An hormetic reaction is a reaction of growth as a result of stress. Just like how putting stress on your bicep by lighting weights makes the muscle grow bigger. Sprinting can make everything in your body, including bones, grow bigger. Growth hormone is an hormetic hormone that plays a big role in this, and nothing spikes growth hormone more than sprinting. Sprinting for five sets of 10 seconds will spike growth hormone up to 771%. If you thought these 20 tips were quality info, just wait until you've read the skyscraper method. Following this program is the number one tip you can receive. This is a paid program in which almost every discovery about how to increase height growth at any given age is shared. This includes direct exercises, nutrition advice, sleep optimization, mastering your endocrine system, postural hacks, breathing mechanics, and more. People who follow the program have had success even in their late 20s or middle 30s. You can enroll into the program by clicking on the link that's left in the description. And if you don't feel like paying for a program to grow taller, you can always start by downloading the free ebook, which can also be found in the description. For now, this is the end of the video, but you can find more knowledge on other socials or in the height program. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you don't forget to leave a like behind and subscribe if you haven't already. Till next time, bye.